This mini PC from Geekom is interesting. There's a lot to love, and also some stuff not to love, but it does have one major standout feature, and that's the 12th gen Intel CPU inside. In this video, I'm going to see how this performs in Windows, doing a few different tasks, but also explore how this might be beneficial in a home lab setup thanks to those fancy P and E cores, which made in my channel, you know, I love three things. Used desktop PCs, NAS appliances, and little guys like this. So I couldn't really pass up the chance to take a look at a mini PC with an Intel 12th gen mobile CPU, because while this thing might be possibly out of your price range, and mine for that matter, I think it's worth taking a look at, because even if you can't afford one of these now, in a few years, 12th and 13th gen Intel devices will most likely be much more affordable on the used market. The hybrid architecture of these CPUs is fairly interesting, and I felt like this was worth exploring primarily from a home lab perspective. Later in this video, I'm going to mess around with pinning CPU cores to either P or E cores to see how that can improve efficiency and maybe even performance. Now, just for the sake of transparency, Geekom did send this over, but that was with the expectation that I could say whatever I want. No money was exchanged and never will be on this channel, unless you see or hear the words sponsored by. Like when I say, this video, what is this thing? Well, it's the Geekom Mini IT12, and if we check out the Amazon marketing, we can learn a lot about it. First of all, we can see that the 12th gen CPU has 21,038, which is a bigger number than those other two numbers. And this makes it blue, which is good. <laughs> I can't, I, sorry, I had fun looking at the Amazon marketing materials. Anyway, okay, actually, actually serious now. As I mentioned, this does have a 12th gen mobile CPU, the i7-1260P, which has four P or performance cores that can boost to 4.7 gigahertz and eight E or endurance cores that can boost up to 3.4 gigahertz. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably aware, but starting with Intel's 12th gen CPUs, there are now two different types of cores, P cores with higher clock speeds and hyper-threading and E cores. These have lower clocks and lack hyper-threading. This configuration comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4, as well as a 512 gigabyte PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive. And this actually brings me to one of my favorite things about this system, which is how simple and easy it is to open up. There aren't any glued on rubber feet over the screw holes or plastic clips to break off. It's just four screws and you're in. Haha! -ha. Oh, and the screws are actually captive. So you don't have to go hunting them down with a magnet when you inevitably drop them on your carpet. See, this is, this is a great feature, Geekom. Why not put this on your Amazon marketing? Oh gosh, I'm gonna break this cable. Inside, there's also a 42 millimeter SATA M.2 slot, as well as a ribbon cable that goes to a two and a half inch drive bay. I really like the drive options and how accessible it is. However, the ribbon cable for the two and a half inch drive seems to not be in the best spot, as it often wanted to get itself pinched when closing the case. It's a small detail, but I don't imagine this cable is super easy to find and replace. The front and rear I.O. is decent with three USB 10 gigabit per second Type-A ports, a USB 2.0 port, two HDMI ports, headphone jack, and even an SD card slot on the side. There's 